Most people are very disappointed with the new patch because honestly it doesn't have that much to it and because everyone was a little bit already a little bit sad or excited one of the two uh, for the new roadmap that Aina does and the new way of uh, doing content and scheduling content most people uh, all had a very bad expectation for this and are even more disappointed that it wasn't really that big or they had big expectations for a new way of Aina from doing things and now they didn't get that also, people have been waiting for like a year after EOD to get new content and we only got Living Season 1, which is essentially recycled content before and this is the first patch that is completely new and it's kind of disappointing when you don't, you know, you wanted something big, something new, something great and you don't get that completely. That definitely makes people uh, not being the best, uh, don't, not have that much optimism about the game. Now, don't get me wrong guys, this isn't the best patch ever, but it's not the end of the world. I do understand that we're expecting way more. People are expecting this to be, you know, a good example of what the new era of Gear Wars 2 is. Uh, so thinking this is gonna be, you know, the next patch and next patch and just this amount of content definitely will make you a little bit sad. But it's not the end of the world. I do think that at the end of the day, uh, you know, just having one bad patch doesn't mean like Gear Wars 2 is over. You know, it's always it's 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 everything is bad, and we're gonna get horrible patches from now on. Um, this, the big problem is that we usually get a lot of content in one uh, Living War season release, and uh, this was not very close to that. And after one year of waiting, and Gear Wars 2 and and Anet not really saying anything about what we should we should expect from this patch, the expectations were all over the place. So most people would get disappointed, which kind of which really much is on Anet's uh, you know it's Anet's responsibility to set our expectations and they didn't. If they just told us this is not gonna be that big of a patch, but the next one is gonna be or you know, we're just gonna have to wait until the new expansion for us to, you know, have way more content. Probably would have people would have been like, oh, okay, I understand. And they would have been less way less doomish about everything. Honestly, a lot of the patch seems almost scrapped, unfinished. Um, the story is a bit short, the uh, meta is like copy pasted a little bit, even though the boss is kind of fun and it very has a lot of models and come cool mechanics. It does seem like it almost like they just had to put something in here uh, because they wanted to put something uh, one year after and they and they just couldn't finish it, right? I honestly would have preferred waiting a bit more to have like a you know a good patch with a, a good content so people would be like insanely happy, but I guess they didn't go for that one. <laughs> And honestly, even though I do think this is just not enough content for every quarterly release, we definitely need more. If it is in this scope and a little, little bit more, uh, and it just in it, they are quarterly releases and one expansion a year, I think that's honestly better than what we used to have. Because honestly, before the inconsistency in the game was hurting the game a lot, and we have never have we have never had consistent uh, releases without huge droughts in the middle so I do think that cutting a little bit of content uh, so we get a more consistent re more consistent releases I think it's definitely worth it uh, even if I think it should be more than this we do know that Gears can do great content we have all of the more seasons and as a percentage to see it uh, even when they're you know trying to you know do it very fast so I do think they can do it they just need to figure out how much uh, we get each of the core releases, <laughs> hopefully way more than this, and uh, and hopefully in the next patch we, they can have a better um, idea of what that is, and we're also happier with it. Sadly, Anet has to find their way uh, of delivering content, and even we, if we have this roadmap and this idea of a roadmap, they definitely have to you know try it, try it, and, and continue iterating in it so it works eventually for them and for us, because most people are probably not happy with what we got this time. And honestly, guys, I think it's okay to be disappointed. I think most people are like, oh, you guys shouldn't have expected anything from this patch. Um, just accept the deal that this game is not going to be, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bad sometimes and that's what it is. And I think you should accept that, you know, some things can go wrong, of course. But I think it's okay to be disappointed. I want Guild Wars 2 to be better and I want them to give us more content. I don't think it's good that we just accept that it's going to be like horrible forever. I think it's okay to push Anet to do better things and to do more. And I do have, but I also have the trust that they can do it and that they will do it. But also by being disappointed, you also don't want to be completely copium up that everything's going to be fine. You want to be critical, but also, uh, you know, understand that sometimes you're going to be sad because, you know, they're not going to deliver on, on what you want. Um, 
And honestly, that's the biggest problem, right? Three months of waiting for content isn't really a problem if you know that the next content is going to be great. But because this this content isn't really that good, and we don't know what's going to come after, uh, being completely, you know, disappointed and sad about uh, this patch for the next three months is going to be hard. Unless Inet says something about it, it's going to be hard to deal with. Um, and that's honestly what makes more quick people quit. The uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen, right? And sadly, Guild 2 is one of those games where you have to essentially or go into acceptance mode, which is like, whatever we get, we get, and that's nice. And if you don't get anything, that's okay too, and be completely sane, or be prepared to for this being disappointed sometimes. Because Anet definitely tries their best, but they are they do have problems of development, and they're trying to figure it out, and we are. Um, and they're definitely way better than, than they used to be before. But some things are going to happen. Uh, some bad things are going to happen sometimes, right? And you're going to have to accept that those things will happen. Gear Wars 2 is a risky game. It's not WoW. It's not Final Fantasy. It's not a dead game, of course. But there's a lot of more uncertainty than the, in those other games. No one's going to think that WoW is going to die anytime at any point. In Gear Wars some people do think that. And um, even if WoW has a bad patch... Uh, they can always do another one, and they will do another one, and they probably will get it way better than before. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV as well. In Gear Wars 2, it's way, it's way less of that. Um, they, we don't have that much of a consistency, at least on um, releases, right? Of course, I don't think Gear Wars 2 is going to die anytime soon. Uh, not at least in the fucking next five years. Uh, but, but we do have droughts, we do have uh, problems in development, and uh, we never know what's going to happen, right? And sadly, that's a thing that we have to deal with in order to play this game. Now, of course, if you don't want to deal with this kind of things, <laughs> well, you're just not going to be able to play this game, right? Uh, sadly, you probably would have to move to another one. Uh, but if you want to play it, you're going to have to deal with it. The game obviously shouldn't do this, and it should make us you know, ha be happy with the game all the time and not have any certainty ever. And I do think that eventually we'll get there, but it's going to take time, right? Of course, patches like this don't help us with that at all. At the end of the day, the reason why I play this game, even with all these problems, is because we like Gear 2, and we think, well, I think at least, that is the best MMO right now, even if, even with its problems in development, in release schedules, uh, and bugs and everything, right? Um, and that's why we're here, you know, we kind of take a risk a little bit, like, by playing this game, but me personally, it's a risk I'm willing to take, because I believe in the game, I believe in Anet, um, and I believe, and I believe this game can be much better, and I will try by playing with other people, by teaching other people, by making events with other people while we're in droughts, so people still have fun, um, to make it as much better. Well, of course, I can't go into Anet and help them, you know, develop something, but I couldn't do my part, I can do my part by doing this, and of course, talking about these problems that uh, most people have in this in this particular game. And of course also making content and talk about these issues so people, you know, hopefully have a little more uh, hope around the game and and if not, uh, they can, you know, quit the game and have fun with their life because at the end of the day this is only a game guys, this is not a job, this is not, you know, girlfriend or anything, this is just a game and, you know, if you're not having fun with it, if it's taking too much of your time, too much of your mental health, you probably should quit. That being said guys, that's what I think. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, have a good one, bye bye guys.